Hey Alabaster, I'm here at City Hall with our Parks and Rec Director, Tim Ham. It is a hopping October for you guys, right? Yeah, October is, is very exciting around here. A lot of things going on. I mean, we're already in the middle of college football and all that action. So now you jump into all these events that we have here in the city. Uh, it's a great time of the year to, to be a member of a community in Alabaster. Absolutely. So I know these guys do a lot of things behind the scenes that you don't see, but they are working hard for you. So let's jump into everything we've got going on. Yeah. We have got Jazz in the Park. Yeah. Tell Jazz, us a little. Jazz in the Park is October 7th. It's right here at City Hall in the Municipal Green. Uh, it runs from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, that event, you'll have some food vendors. You'll have uh, the Thompson High School Jazz Ensemble hmm. starts that event off. and. Um, then we'll have uh, just a, a large area out on the green where people can just sit back in their lawn chairs, relax, and listen to, to jazz music the rest of the evening. Uh, Magic City Smooth Jazz kind of heads that event up. So if you need information on, on uh, artists and that type of thing, you can, can look at magiccitysmoothjazz.com or you can call Shelby County Arts Council. So we've also got uh, the fall fling, not to be confused with the fall fest that we're about to talk about. Talk about the fall Correct. fling. Fall fling is an event that our uh, that our therapeutic recreation specialist puts on every year. We host this at Veterans Park on October 19th. And this is for special needs kids in the Shelby County area. So we'll have, we'll have tons of kids out there that day. We've got a fishing rodeo that they participate in, different booths, face painting, uh, it's a lot of activities uh, for the kids to come out and have a, a safe, fun environment to participate in these types of activities. Sounds wonderful. We yeah. would love to help our special needs family um, in Alabaster. So now we're going to go into the Fall Fest, yeah. which is one of our favorite events and sadly got rained out last year. So we were so sad about that, but yeah. you were kind enough to do a segment with us about it last year. But right. tell us again why they need to come out to Fall Fest. It's one of my favorites. Fall Fest, this is our 10th annual. So we're, so we're hoping for a, a huge event this year, especially with the rain out last year that kind of put a damper on the whole whole Fall Fest that we've been growing and growing. So this event is has, has gotten so big that we've we've decided that we're going to turn the the kids zone into more of a carnival section. It's going to have rides such as swings um, and a bunch of inflatables. A lot of food vendors will be set up in that area. The really big draw about this event is our trick or treat trail, and I'm yes. so excited oh, about it. this because um, Sharon Allen put so much time in last year to to up upgrading our trick-or-treat trail and then we didn't get to use it mm -hmm. so so it was very sad in in that instance but but that's going to be a great a great um, add-on this year is how big that trick-or-treat trail is going to be and not to mention you'll be able to find arts and crafts vendors out there with with different stuff um, a, a lot of informational top vendors will be out as well passing out information on different things going on in the community and the surrounding areas so so this event uh, like we said it's october 27th and it starts at 9.30 and runs till 3 p.m. And it'll be pretty busy the whole day. Um, it's, there's a lot of stuff going, a lot of people in and out. It's right here on Buck Creek Trail, which is, which is out here in front of us and on the municipal green. So, so this event, like I said, it got rained out last year and was, and was, was a downer for us, but I think it's gonna be a great event this year. I think so too, I am pumped. It's one of our favorite events. Kids can come in costume, right? Yeah, they come in costume. Visit the trail. Gonna get plenty of candy. Um, we're not gonna scare them too bad. I promise. It's 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 gonna be a fun fun event, and we're looking forward to great weather. Fingers yes, crossed fingers this crossed. year, <laughs> and uh, it should be a great time for for the whole family. Awesome. What else we got going on this month? The last thing that we'll kind of do this month is we'll start a Christmas parade registration. Well, it, it feels, I mean, it's still 90 degrees right now. I so know, talking I about know. Christmas feels a little crazy, but registration starts the 15th, right? Yeah, October 15th. It'll run through November 2nd. Uh, you can contact our office at 664-6840 to get information about that. And we'll have that up soon for registration. And the Christmas parade is one of the biggest draws for the city. I mean, we get people all over. Everyone comes out for the Christmas parade. It's super fun. Do we know how many floats we had last year? We've had as many as 120 wow. in, the, in, in the past and that is actually one of the largest parades in the state. Um, so it is a very busy time that day. It's, it's a great parade. Kids everywhere. Tons of candy. 
Um, yes. So I really encourage you to come out on the first Saturday of December and enjoy the Alabaster's Christmas Parade. Can anyone um, register a float? Yeah, anyone can register a float. All that we ask is that if you put a float in, you, you decorate it per the theme. This mm -hmm. year, which is a storybook Christmas. So, so, you know, come out, decorate your truck, your trailer, your car, throw some candy to the kids, and uh, get in the Christmas spirit with us here in Alabaster. It's going to be awesome. Guys, if this is not enough for you going on um, in October all the way through the holidays, I can't help you because there is just tons to do in Alabaster. Come out, see us. If you see our Alabaster living crew, make sure you say, hey, we'd love to talk to you.